Hello lovers and twisters. Today we're going to make a bracelet. Welcome to the workshop. So as I said, I was getting ready to release some of my summer accessories. Some of my summer jewelry. As I say, my spring and summer collection. Uh, and today I'm going to present a couple pieces that's going to be coming up uh, online and available. Here's one of them. This little beauty right here. Isn't this a stunner? Look at that. Look at all those colors, right? Can you see that? Isn't that just beautiful? Look at all the detail up in that. I hope y'all are getting a good look at it. I know the lighting isn't the best in here. Let me see if I can get a little... Let's see if I can help it along here. Look at that. Let's see if that helps. That should help a little bit. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that just gorgeous? Look at it. Look at it. I know someone's going to want this, right? There's probably a couple of you out there that I know. I know a couple customers right off the bat that's probably going to want this, right? Um, well, it can be yours. Here's the thing. These pieces here, these particular pieces um, that I'm going to be making, I'm going to be making another bracelet like this today in another color scheme. Uh, these are going to be one-offs. What are one-offs? One-offs is this is an original piece in a size 7 uh, and that's it uh, there's no going to be multiple sizes and multiple you know like a lot of my items I can make uh, duplicate pieces right you, so I can just go ahead and duplicate them so you can I've I've made you know what I'm saying duplicate pieces so I've got items up there that if you want them I can make again and again and again but these Due to the, the beads, I have limited beads, so they're one-offs. That's, that's just the way it is. Um, so I make them all in a size 7 because they are the most common size. Uh, and then from there, if, if you need me to remove a couple links, of course I can do that for you if you have a really tiny wrist. If you need me to add a complimentary 2 inch extension, I can do that as well. So there's where we're at on that. But you kind of got to catch them while you can. First come, first serve. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make one right before your eyes. Because you're like, Mallory, you worked so hard on these pieces. My goodness, you worked so hard. So I'm just going to show you how it's, how it's done right here before your eyes. I'm going to take a bunch of nothing, right? A bunch of just a bunch of nothing and create something beautiful right before your eyes and I really enjoy doing it um, I really do I like to take a bunch of nothing and turn it into a bunch of something so here we go the first thing I'm going to do right off the get-go is I like to go ahead and lay out my chain because I know I'm gonna need not quite seven inches what did I say? I need a 7 inch chain, right? But I know that I need not quite 7 inches because don't forget, I've got to make way for the clasp, right? And the eye hook. So that's going to take up a little bit. So I've got to allow that to make, make room. So I'm going to do just under 7 inches. See, y'all don't, don't think about those things, do you? Y'all don't think about those little things, but I do. Alright, let's see where we're at here. Here's my seven, all right? So we're gonna take that down to just around there. Just around there-ish. And that should be fine. Take my little cutters. I'm gonna cut this chain. Boom! So we're gonna set this aside. See, I'm already cooking with, with fire. Oil, gig, how do they say it? Um, I'm going to set that aside right there. I'm going to set that aside. Now it's time, you know, a lot of people are like, oh my god, the intricacy. And it is intricate. It is intricate. 
right? But I've developed my own little way of intricacy over here, right? I developed my own little signature style, and you know, that's what I do. I've got my special wand that I made all by myself. My special little wand, right? I've got my little wand. I've got my um, 20 gauge wire right here. That's what this project calls for. 20 gauge wire. I like to get a little bit more than I actually need because, oh my god, it's happened to me before. You get to the end and you realize you're short and you're like, you've done all this work. You've done all this work and you realize you're short. Oh my goodness, no. So I like to make sure I have a little bit more than I possibly really need. Because that is no fun. Alright. Put that up there, out of the way. Alright. So I've got my special little wand right here. And I've got my wire. And I'm going to start it right here. Right Right here is my wire, and I'm going to wrap it one, two, three, four, right there. Right? I'm going to push that together. So you see what I have there? You see what I have? Right? Push that toward the end. And I'm going to take one of these little beauty little beads right there. You see it? It's so tiny and petite. And I'm going to feed it onto this 20 gauge wire. I'm going to feed it right there. Then I'm going to select my first bead, which is going to be something like that. I love it. It's so cute. And it's so retro. It's so 1940s. All right. I'm going to feed that there. And then I'm going to cap it with another one of these little silver beads. So that's sandwiched. All right. So then, right, got that cap. I'm gonna take this, lay it down, and just as tight and close as I can get this wire, right, to hold that in place, I'm gonna really just wrap that tightly together. Two and three. And then on the fourth one up, right? Okay, just pull that a little bit tighter. One, two, three. So I want three solid wraps around, and then on the fourth one up, I'm going to start the process all over again. So this is what I've got so far. Let's take a look. That's what i got so far. You see? That's it. And I'm just going to repeat that process now. Another silver. So it's not that jewelry making is difficult. Never claim for jewelry making to be difficult. Um, jewelry making can be tedious, all right? Jewelry making, um, you have to have an eye for design. You've got to have an imagination. You've got to know how to, um, how you're going to bring that to life. How are you going to bring your your mental design to life. And a lot of designs, you know, a lot of ideas go through your head, but a lot of them aren't going to be practical, especially to wear. So all of these come into play. Because I want jewelry, I want wearable jewelry. I don't want jewelry that has to sit in somebody's jewelry box, right? I want it to be worn. I want it to be lightweight. That is my, like, number one. It has to be lightweight. Lightweight jewelry is key to me. Um, coming from a background of jewelry, 
that was the, like the number one. Nobody wanted heavy, clunky jewelry. Uh, unless you were only going to be wearing it for an extremely uh, special occasion. You are going to be photographed in it. Uh, that was it. A very short time, but nobody wanted... No one wanted to feel that jewelry, especially in your ears. Especially in your ears. Even on your wrist. Nobody wanted to go around feeling the weight of a bracelet. No, no one wants that. No, 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 no. So my jewelry is all lightweight, but it's got a visual presence to it. Like this, it has a very visual weight to it. But my God, it's light as air, right? Light as air. That's what we want. We want it to look substantial, but weigh nothing. That's what we want, people. So I'm glad you all are here with me and um, watching this come to life. I hope you all are enjoying the process. I don't do too many of these. I just don't do too many of these. I typically work alone. <laughs> but I thought you all might enjoy this. This is going to be gorgeous. This is absolutely going to be gorgeous. And absolutely, some of you may be asking, God, that would make a nice necklace. Could I do a necklace? And absolutely. Um, and I probably will. Uh, I'll do a beautiful necklace. I'm sure. So, there, there will most likely be a necklace coming and available. You just have to be quick. First come, first serve. Just remember that. I only have so many of these gorgeous beads to go around. Only so many. And these are just gorgeous. Watch what I just did. I'm going to back up a minute because, you see, as I'm conversating with you lovely people, I chose the wrong bead, but that's okay. Easy enough to repair. Boom. Here I go. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Detail is everything. Oh. My, my mom is going to love this one. She's going to love both of these, but I feel like this one, specifically, she's going to beg me for. And I'm like, Mother! Mother, you can't have everything. I have got to make a living. I've got to make a living, Mother. Okay. Let's show you this so far. Let's show you what I got so far. Because I know I'm working away from you all. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Isn't that, see how it's coming together? You see how I just took a bunch of really nothing? I mean, look at that. Oh, God. I hate to say that I'm good, but darn I'm good. <laughs> oh, lots of practice, people. Lots of practice. Lots of practice. Over and over again. Lots of pieces. Many, many pieces. Um, okay, and on we go. I've got one more piece. These bracelets cause, um, call for four major beads and then the, the smaller sandwich beads. Like eight of them. So you're getting quite a few pieces in one bracelet. You are getting quite a few. Oh, I'll take this one. This one's got lots of color in it. Okay.
we're going to snip that. See how I have plenty of extra? And I'll, I can use this for another piece. Another piece somewhere along the line. So I don't waste that. That just goes into my little um, extra basket. And then I just slide, slide, slide this off. Off my little... Okay. So this is what I have so far, right? There it is. Now we're going to work on the chain, people. You're like, now how do you get this on a chain? Well, here we go. How do we make it a bracelet? Now, here's what I... I'm going to skip a step for you right now just for camera purposes. But normally I go in and I add my glue right here at the bottom just to give this a little extra stability right here. Okay? So later I'll go back out and I'll remove the chain and I will glue these. So yours will come um, with some adhesive at the bottom. It's clear adhesive. You don't see it. Um, but it just gives these a little extra stability so that there's no way that these can separate. Okay, but having said that, moving forward, like this one, this one has adhesive on it. This one is ready to go. Okay. I just slide that right down in there. Do you see that? Just pipe it right down through there. So there's that. Bingo. All right. I've got my little packs. All right. These are my little... These are my little rings to catch the class. By the way, these are absolutely gorgeous in person. They are so incredibly shiny. Okay, there's that. Then I'm going to take these. These are oh so tiny. These are very tiny here. So tiny. And then I take these because I'm going to need... I know I have a lot of stuff here. A silver clasp. So I feed this little tiny right through there. To connect that and then I have to feed this through there and then I have to close it I have to close it I know you all can't see this but everything is just so tiny <laughs> it is just so tiny Sure that's closed and it appears to be so that's what I have so far
And now I have a bracelet. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to bend it and shape it slightly, right? By taking my two fingers and just kind of pulling it and just putting a slight arch in it. And then, of course, when you get it, you're going to shape it slightly to fit your own wrist. So let's take a look at this now. And there you have it. There's your bracelet. Somebody's bracelet. Ready to go. How's that? Let me, I'm just trying. I'm trying, y'all. Hold on. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Is it not gorgeous? Is it not gorgeous? That's what we did today. You have just witnessed a one-of-a-kind piece by Twist by Design. I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope you all go check out twistbydesign.com. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube, Twist by Design. Thank you. Please, please subscribe to Love is Inc. Please subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Please follow me, uh, Twist by Design, on Facebook. I would appreciate that as well. I'm everywhere. I'm just everywhere. Listen, these are perfect for gift giving. The most expensive thing at the moment that I have is $40, right? You just seen the work that I put in it, the detail that I put in it. Um, it's perfect for gift giving. And the way I see it, you know, the, not only the affordability, not only can you purchase for yourself, right? You can always pick up something for someone else. So, thank you so much. I do hope you enjoyed this. Till next time, loves, hugs, kisses. Bye-bye.